NASA's discovery on Mars will change everything with Elon Musk's plans. Recent discoveries made by NASA rovers tantalizingly resemble alien signatures, but Mars has tricked us before, and scientists still don't fully understand how the planet functions as a whole. Has life ever existed on the red planet? From 250 million miles away, it's challenging to provide an answer, but NASA's Perseverance rover may have just made progress, and this recent discovery might change Elon Musk's plan of colonizing Mars. So hello everyone and welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we bring you the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos. And let's get started! The siren voice of Mars is growing louder and louder for those looking for extraterrestrial life. Recent discoveries by rovers on the red planet may contain microbial traces in a majority of their observations, suggesting that Earth is not the only place in the solar system where life might exist. Earlier this month, one intriguing glint was revealed. NASA's Curiosity rover discovered a mix of carbon isotopes in the rocks of Gale Crater that, if discovered on Earth, would be an indication of life. The rover has also observed methane, a gas on Earth that is primarily created biologically, rise both randomly and seasonally. The Perseverance rover of NASA has discovered odd purple coatings on the rocks of Yezero Crater, which is located around 2,300 kilometers away. These ubiquitous coverings mimic the desert varnishes that develop on Earth when bacteria are present. For yet, though, scientists aren't ready to infer that our Vermilion neighbor was formerly inhabited. There is so much we don't know about Mars' geology and chemistry that nearly every intriguing suggestion of biology may also be explained by some as-yet-unknown feature of the planet's chemistry. There's also so much we don't know about how non-living events might be passing for signs of life. Because we are investigating an alien planet, Curiosity Deputy Project Scientist Abigail Freeman of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said, Who knows what we haven't even thought of? The next step in the search for life on Mars, according to scientists, is to bring samples of the planet back to laboratories on Earth, where the best tools available can look for solutions to one of mankind's oldest mysteries. The first set of samples, which could show that microorganisms existed in Yezero Crater billions of years ago, are already being collected by the Perseverance rover. Whatever the result, it will reveal a significant truth about the beginnings of life on Earth. Only recently did Curiosity make its strangest, most fascinating discovery. The rover discovered organic compounds with odd ratios of carbon isotopes, or atoms of the same element with differing numbers of neutrons in their nuclei, and a variety of rock samples from different areas in the crater. On Earth, organisms prefer to utilize the lighter form of carbon in metabolic or photosynthetic activities, resulting in a skewed ratio in which the lighter form is far more prevalent than the heavier form. According to what has been observed in meteorites and on the Martian atmosphere, lesser carbon isotopes were far more prevalent than their heavier siblings in five different sites in Gale Crater. The findings reflect carbon ratios found in Australia's Tumbiana Formation, a rock formation that is 2.7 billion years old and preserves the carbon traces of extinct bacteria that metabolize methane. These results for severely low carbon isotopes are fascinating, so powerful. Only biology can be used to accomplish this on Earth, according to Williams. House, who oversaw the analysis, claims that the narrative is far from obvious. He provided three explanations for the imbalance with his colleagues. First, the signature does actually originate from extinct bacteria. Another idea is that the solar system passed by an interstellar dust cloud with an unusual carbon isotope ratio in the distant past, and that cloud left evidence on Mars. Another possibility is that the strange signature is created by UV light, reacting with Mars's atmosphere of carbon dioxide. House responds, We don't know the solution. It might be biological or it might not be. All three hypotheses account for the data. A truck-sized robot's been exploring the River Delta in Yezero Crater since dramatic parachuting in on February 18, 2021, but a new publication released today in Science provides more information about the rock samples it has already retrieved from the crater's floor. It's interesting to note that some of them seem to have had liquid water change their geochemical structure. The announcement comes as NASA and the European Space Agency complete plans for the Mars Sample Return Mission, which will make history by traveling to Mars for the first time ever in 2027 and returning with actual rock samples to Earth in 2023 for astrobiologists to study. 
Amy Williams, an astrobiologist and professor of geology at the University of Florida and one of the designers for the Perseverance mission, said, These rocks on Mars have been aqueously changed by water, so there are carbonates, iron oxides, and salts that have formed within these rocks. Those offer various geochemical microenvironments that organisms may take advantage of if they were present, the Williams said. The Yezero Crater previously held a lake, perhaps for millions of years, despite the fact that if today, dry, chilly, and highly radioactive. Was the area habitable? Scientists agree that, sure, a wet Mars may have sustained life several billions of years ago. These samples from Perseverance's initial science campaign depict igneous rocks generated by lava and magma on a crater bottom that has eroded far more than anticipated. Only the softer sedimentary rocks that would have formed up in the lake bed were what the scientists on Perseverance had anticipated finding. That is advantageous since the igneous rocks were found likely to predate the river delta, in particular the samples from formations known as Maas and Seta. According to Williams, the mineral's aqueous modification has the ability to record biosignatures. Biosignatures serve as proof of current or past life. Williams stated, we have organisms on Earth that live in very similar types of rocks. We're talking about microbes, including bacteria and archaea, which can endure harsh conditions whenever and wherever on Earth. Williams explained that some microbes exist in and on igneous rocks, such as those found on the Azero crater bottom. Some of these organisms can even exist kilometers below the surface of the Earth. Why this discovery is important to Musk. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has long had the idea to build a settlement on Mars. It would enable humanity to become a multi-planet species, support a million people, and be self-sustaining. It's possibly Musk's most audacious ambition, and it might keep him busy for the next three decades. During the company's February 2022 Starship development update, Musk asked, Why are we doing this? Since dinosaurs are extinct, I think this is an immensely essential thing for the future of life itself. There's always a potential that something could go wrong on Earth. Musk also described how the plan is intended to create something inspiring despite just being an insurance policy. Life can only be about resolving issues, according to Musk. When you wake up in the morning, you should be enthusiastic about the future. There has to be something that inspires you and moves your heart. Elon Musk's plan of terraforming Mars. A before and after comparison of a terraformed Mars can be shown in two photographs outside SpaceX's headquarters right outside the lobby. Average surface temperatures on Mars right now are minus 63 degrees Celsius or minus 82 degrees Fahrenheit. In Musk's theory, frozen carbon dioxide would be released by heating the planet's poles. The artificial suns in this system would be created through a continual sequence of low fallout nuclear fusion events. It would be intended to exploit the carbon dioxide reserves to produce a more friendly environment. Then, with only a breathing device, humans could traverse the entire planet. By the year 2050, Musk wants a self-sustaining Mars city with 1 million inhabitants. By that year, Musk would become 79 years old. Hey, that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, then please click on that like button and make sure you share with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, too, to see even more incredible videos. We'll look for you next time. Thanks for watching.